What's up, guys? This is the Befriending the Bot. This is episode four. Thanks for all the feedback, man. It's really popping right now. Uh, and I hope I'll be getting all you guys better at Madden. And one thing about Madden 20 that's so tough is that the run game is strong. It is strong, and, and I won't be the first one to tell you I have the best run defense because I, I feel like as soon as I feel like I have the best run defense, uh, they, they kill me. The next game, I give up 200 yards rushing, whether it's Eric Dickerson, Chris Johnson, that guy, Bo Jackson. I know there's a new Barry Sanders coming out soon. That's probably going to be the first running back with human joystick. So for me, uh, having good run defense is important if you're going to win games, man, because there's nothing easier than running the ball. So if you allow your opponent to run the ball, you're going to be in trouble. Like I said, man, get this video to 500 likes and we will drop the new video ASAP. But uh, this is just run defense. And these are the super basics of run defense. Uh, anything else you want? More elaborate things? What plays to run? What uh, what person to blitz? What gaps to hit? And, and different things against different defenses, man. Manturf.com, that link is below. But this is just the basics, man. It's just, just pretty much stopping the run one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't really matter what play you're against, what offense you're playing against. This is just... Simple things that maybe you guys aren't doing, maybe you guys don't understand, and uh, we're going to go into practice mode. We have the Giants against the Eagles, man. This is our matchup right here. Uh, we're going to have we're going to have stretch. Stretch is pretty much the biggest run run play, and this is out of eye tight. Eye tight uh, is pretty much goal line, but with, with one wide receiver. It's been the most popular defense or offense, and it's one. I want to say it's won every single Madden tournament this year. You know, now I. I Honestly, for me, I, I don't know which defense I love the most against it, whether it's man coverage, cover three, cover four, cover two. Right here, I'm just going to show you guys the cover two. Now, there's a couple secrets we can do that I like against the run. Um, One, back to shading. I love shading underneath, so hard flats. I feel like when you shade underneath, their first step is to the line, uh, playing aggressive, so they'll play the run a little bit better. Two, when I run cover two, see Jalen Mills on this guy right here. He's manned up, right? Or he's over top of him. If I leave him over top of him, he's going to get blocked. But if I sneak him in here like that, maybe he's going to take that first step and he's going to be in the backfield rather than getting blocked. So when I run cover two, and most of you guys know, most of these bums that run the ball, they're not going to have Randy Moss out here. They're going to have, you know, Munoz or Lane Johnson or Kittle or just somebody that's not really going to burn you. So it's okay if you put this guy here. Uh, because if they want to snap and run a streak out of eye tight, then God bless them. What we want to do is stop the run. Now, I'm not telling you to put him all the way over here. I'm just talking maybe one or two steps inside the receiver. And that's on both sides, you know. And uh, the number one rule for stopping the run or having good run defense is it's numbers. It's simply a numbers game this year. Uh, if there's more blockers than there are defenders, your people will get blocked and the running back will have yards to run. And that's pretty much the entire game this year because you guys know, I mean, once you're blocked in this game, you're pretty much blocked. You're pretty much out of the play. The sheds are not crazy against the run. Linebackers, DBs, they don't shed. They get blocked uh, unless you have some run-stopping abilities, but it's tough to have those on every play on your D-line. So for me, I, it's about numbers. Now, what you have to identify when you're playing a running formation is which side is the short side, which side is the wide side, which side is the strong side of the formation. When I say strong side, it means what side has more blockers. Now, eye tight looks pretty symmetrical. It's got two tight ends, got two running backs. But the strong side is the side with the wide receiver because essentially that's another blocker. So that's a, as a blocker, he's going to take out a defensive player. Every blocker takes out a defensive player, and it's your job as a defensive player to add a person to the box, add a person to the numbers game. Because, obviously, there's a wide receiver over here, so you're losing that battle. So I always, always, always try to use or somebody on the weak side. Whether it's... So against this, if I was in this 4-3 defense, it would either be this linebacker, but more than likely, I'd be on Rodney McLeod. Because you have such a numbers disadvantage... Not a, not a huge numbers disadvantage, but one number is all that matters in this game of Madden 20. So this wide receiver over here is going to hurt hurts you your defense so much stopping the run that you have to add this guy Rodney McLeod to the run defense over here now you gotta let these guys do their thing and we'll see if we can stop this run out of here out of cover two out of four three and we did not do the best job but I will tell you what did we get he got four or five yards let's take a look at the replay here boys Brandon Graham got absolutely moved on the double team there 
I did put the corner to the inside, but the corner still got blocked by that wide receiver. Fullback is out there. As you see, Malcolm Jenkins out there floating in his deep half. Linebacker kind of got caught in the mix. Middle linebacker got blocked. And I actually made the play with my safe, my, with that, that weak side safety, came over, made the tackle. So essentially he got what? Four yards here? That's what I mean about that having that short side safety being the one to make the play. Because your number advantage is bad over here. And without that guy being there, if you were on a linebacker and got blocked, he, Saquon Barkley's one-on-one -on -one with Malcolm Jenkins. If he misses that tackle, he's probably to the end zone. But let me show you one more thing that people do a lot against the run. Same thing. We can even maybe move this guy in a little bit more. Uh, what people do, and it's, and we used to be able to do this, man up to safeties, but they made that. They made, for some reason, that doesn't work as well anymore. People put the safeties in a, um, in a spy. But this is like last resort because I really never like doing that. But against I tight, it can work because I can cover. If it is a pass, I can actually cover that wide receiver. But I'll show you the difference between the deep blue when he's in a spy and when he's in a, a safety. Up oh, there we go. My corner made the play that time. That's what I mean about. I, and I don't know if Jalen Mills just shed him. That's why I do like cover two against him, run the corners. And Jalen Mills just absolutely blurred the wide receiver. Uh, Jalen Mills actually, that's why I like cover two. Your corners are almost blitzers, and that's why I like shading down. They play the run really aggressive in cover two. And when you have your corner setting the edge, it makes the job easier for all the linebackers. You know, And at the end of the day, if because I put Malcolm Jenkins in that spy, at the end of the day, if the wide receiver, see how the wide receiver, if the wide receiver got blocked, right and say say that's Kittle or Lane Johnson the wide receiver gets or the corner gets blocked and he's held up right there we have Malcolm Jenkins right there to come down and it, and if that 74 blocks Malcolm Jenkins look where my user defender is right there boom so it's all about numbers getting your numbers down there we'll do the same thing we'll, we'll press press shade let's move this guy in a little bit we're going to spy Malcolm Jenkins we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the weak side the short side safety Boom. Just different things, man. And at because essentially, when I tell you that this deep blue, this cover two deep blue, he's really not part of the numbers. If that makes sense. But when I put him in a spy, look how he plays. Absolute maniac. But once again, Jalen Mills is just this is what he does in real life. Jalen Mills is shedding him. And there, there is Malcolm Jenkins, who actually gets blocked by the wide receiver. But let's do this because I, I feel like Jalen Mills is killing this guy so bad. I got to get a different look out here. But that's uh, essentially why I like cover two. Uh, we got, we'll keep Jalen Mills there. But over here, we're going to put, we got to put somebody out here. You know these, you know these mutt guys are not out here with, they're out here with, well, give me a tight end, Kevin Smith. They're out here with this guy. Stretch again. Same thing, got a tight end out there. Malcolm Jenkins put him in a spy. Boom. Now, obviously, I'm tilting the defense hard to the right because that's the strong side. He has an extra blocker there. You know? Boom. Rodney McLeod's right there. Now, all the blockers got taken up right there because Jalen Mills did not shed. Jalen Mills did not shed right there. He got blocked by that. By that Kittle or whoever they'll have out there will get blocked. But you see how Malcolm Jenkins scrapes in that spy. He really takes over and takes out the – or takes the running back or takes the uh, full back and really goes right after the running back. And at the end of the day, there's Nigel Bradham as well if I don't clean it up. But that's – it. essentially this video is just telling you the importance of being on the backside safety, uh, the weak side safety. Now – Obviously, I, I don't know if I can flip this run without another controller. But the whole point of this is, you know, just making sure you're on this guy. Because if you're, say, even if I put, say I put McLeod in a spy and I, I use her to side with Jenkins. Right, let's see the difference. Boom, I got blocked. Just not, not there. Rodney McLeod, the middle linebacker was there though. I, li I kind of like how the middle linebacker is playing in the mid read. But just a little bit different, you know. I don't want to be the first guy in. I kind of want to be the cleanup guy. I'm liking this mid-read. You know, I'm liking how he plays, how he scrapes. 
Um, but like I said, if, if you don't want to be blocked, that's the key. And because you're on, because if you're on a strong side, you're definitely going to get blocked. You're one of the people that the offense is accounted for. But if you're out there on the weak side, you will be the free runner and able to go ahead and tackle the running back. So just the basic, the first basic principle of stopping a run is being on a weak side player. That That's like the biggest thing I can tell you guys uh, to help you guys stop the run, man. If you're not on a weak side person, that's the first adjustment I would make. Now, if you're still struggling, man, there's a bunch of other things you can do. And the, I, as far as I'm concerned, the, the Befriending the Bot series is going to have about four or five or six or seven different run defensive uh, parts because there's so many different things you can do. Different things you can do out of cover four, cover three, and man defense. I mean, ultimately, I feel like man plays the best run defense, better than zone. But uh, it's, a, it's so many things that people are doing to confuse the man coverage and runs that it's tough to stay in man coverage against the run. But being able to mix it up and play different defenses, I, I've started to realize that uh, there is a little bit of knowledge and skill gap in running the football. And being able to throw different looks at your opponent when they're running the ball is kind of like throwing different coverages at a passer. It's hard to realize that, but it, it is. And I think uh, the people with the best run defense might have different looks for their opponent, you know, and uh, maybe that's something that down the rest of the year I'm going to incorporate into my game. Not only am I going to run man coverage or zone coverage or cover four, whatever it may be, I'm going to mix it up effectively. And I think that's going to make me a better run defensive player and it's going to help you guys. So that's just an example of using cover two. I like to shade down using that spy feature to put your safety in, just make him play super aggressive and make sure you guys are using a weak side player. That's the most important thing when it comes down to stopping the run. And uh, like I said, get this video to 500 likes and we will drop the next episode. I appreciate you guys for all the support.